So what is the standard procedure for acquiring a property? This is what I'll be talking about on this episode of the Ask a Rotor Show. Don't go anywhere. Alright, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button right now. And when you do that, do not forget to tap on the little bell as well so that you get notified whenever we post new videos. My name is Olisa Omera and this is the Ask a Rotor Show where I answer all your real estate questions and help you make safe and profitable real estate investments. So to today's question, what is the standard procedure for acquiring a property? Well, um, if you want to acquire any property, whether a land or an apartment or a house, it starts with visiting the property. Now, one thing is that um, we are in Nigeria, you see, and based on the peculiarities of our society, you want to first of all ensure that the property that you want to buy actually exists. Because there have been cases where people, most, mostly people who stay abroad, send money for property and then they end up, you know, paying for properties that do not exist. Now, yes, if you trust the person you're dealing with, fine, you, you know, you, you could skip that part. But very important to you, visit the property, number one, to ensure that it exists. Number two, to see if there are any irregularities. You know, you might visit the property and then you notice that there is a big government signboard on the property that state that says this land belongs to the Lagos State government. Or you might see, um, let's say you want to buy a house and you get to the, to the location, you might see on the fence EFCC keep off. Or you might get to the property and then when you want to enter um, the land or, or enter the compound, some area boys might, might might come and chase you away. That's a red flag. You know, that tells you that this property is not, um, in quotes, genuine. This property has a problem. So number one, visit the property. Another reason you should visit the property, is most especially when it's, a, when it's a land, you might, you know, want to pick coordinates um, from that property. These days, it's easier to pick coordinates, you know. You can actually just use your phone, you know, down, download an app, a GPS app, pick coordinates um, on the property that you will send to Alausa if that property is in Lagos. Now, after visiting the property, the next thing you want to do is ask for the title document, um, the survey document, and every, every other document that is associated with this property. Because the next thing you want to do is do your title, your title search and survey search at the land registry and confirm that every other document is genuine. Now, if you're dealing with um, a real estate company, you know, you want to visit their office, you want to see, after getting the, the documents, of course, you want to confirm that the title is genuine, you want to confirm um, um, the survey plan that the land is genuine, you want to visit the office to see if they're actually on ground, that is um, for a real estate company. But if you're buying from an individual, you want to confirm that the title is genuine, that the deal of assignment is genuine, that the land is at actually belongs to the person selling it to you and then there are no other issues um, um, on that property. After your title search, if it comes out clean, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and make a payment. Now, you know, the way you search um, um, a, or, or the way you investigate a property owned by an individual is different from what um, how you investigate a, a property owned by a company it's different from how you investigate a property that um, is owned by someone who is no longer alive. Um, I'm going to um, that now because I'm, talk, I'm talking about the standard procedure. But once the search comes out clean, once the investigation comes out clean, you want to go ahead and make payment. Now, when making payment, never make payment in cash. Never make payment to an agent. Never make payment to a representative. Make payment to that body or to the party that is going to issue you the receipts and the deal of assignment. So if you're buying land from Mr. Olisa, you want to make payment to Mr. Olisa and you want to make it via um, either bank check or bank transfer, you just want to make payment and ensure that there's a record that shows that you made payment. So 
do not make payment to any other person that the, that the person um, that is um, issuing the property to you or the deed of assignment to you. Unless in cases where the person says you should pay to a lawyer or pay to an agent and they should put it in writing so that you have proof that this person said so. Now, after making payment, you want to get your deed of assignment, you want to get, um, 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 if you're buying from a company, from related companies, most times you are going to get a survey plan, you are going to get a deed of assignment, a contract of sale. But if you're buying from an individual, you want to get your lawyer to prepare a deed of assignment for you immediately. Now, after that, the next thing you want to do is register your deed of assignment at the land registry so that the government is aware of that transaction. And then, if you want to go you know, a step further, you can decide to go first your property so that you lay claim physically to that property. That's, that's like the standard procedure for um, purchasing a property here in Nigeria. All right, guys, if you like this video, please um, click on the like button, give me a thumbs up, and um, please click on the share button so that others can get to, you know, um, receive this information. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please tap on the subscribe button right now and then tap on the little bell so that whenever we post new videos, you'll be one of the first persons to know. Alright, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.